Hey everybody, it's Mindy, and I have an Amazon package here. I should have grabbed my scissors for this one. Scissors work good on the Amazon bags. Anyhow, this is from Amazon, and some of you, a few of you, have already received this to review, and there we go. I was contacted to review it, and let's get into it. See what it is. It's interesting. I'm not sure how some of these reviews come about, but it's very interesting. But anyhow, this is what it is. It is this glue gun. Yeah, a glue gun. So let's get into it. Let's see what we have. It's all in a bag in this box. Nicely packaged. Love the packaging. Oh, look, it's a Ziploc bag. Okay, let's undo the zippy part here and we'll get into it. Maybe we'll undo it. There we go. Okay. First things first, let's take out this. This is glue. Oh, those are big fat sticks. And I only got a little mini glue gun. I don't have a glue gun with these big fat sticks like that. Those are, woo. Okay, well, that's different already, right? Okay, now let's uh, take that out. We have a cord. Ooh, we have some finger protection, finger condoms. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I burned myself a couple times on a hot glue gun, so that could come in handy. So you plug it in, just a regular plug. I like that. No USBs or anything. Sometimes USBs are hard to use, right? And here's the glue gun. That's a big glue gun, man. That's like, ooh, that's got some heft to it. So, I mean, here's the trigger, clearly. That's how you squeeze to push the glue through. Put your glue in here. I'm assuming the light tells you it's on. Plug in here. Here's where your glue comes out. Pretty, pretty basic. Oh, you have an on and off switch too. Once you plug it in, you got to turn it on too. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I'm going to undo this real quick. And you've got a little card here and I think that's the directions. So we plug in our little cord right here, like such. We have a cord, which is going to be kind of short. I got a plug right there, but it's kind of short. We'll barely get it in, in view. All right, now what's it say? Insert the power cord into the wall socket. Got it. Insert a glue stick into the gun. I'm not going to do that yet. Switch the power on and preheat it. Okay, so on. Which way's on? I don't know. There's an up and a down. Okay. Um, let's see, what else does it say to do? Uh, preheat the hot glue gun for two to five minutes before you use it. Pulling on the hot glue gun trigger before proper preheating may cause the glue gun to jam. Well, I don't have any glue. I'm not pulling anything. Okay. Um, the indicator power light will be red if you select 80 watt, which is down. Okay. Or up. 80 watt is up. See, I told you there's like, there's two things. This is up is 80 watt down is 120 watt. So I got that on the more powerful one. Then you pull the handle and you start your work. Store the hot glue gun only after the nozzle cools down. Otherwise the remaining heat can damage other items. Yeah. And then on the back, contact information is through victory service. So that's how it works. Now I heard somebody say that you could unplug it and still use it, but I think it doesn't last very long. If you unplug it and then um, try to use it, it cools off pretty quickly. But anyhow, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it, right? I don't know. Do I feel heat? Mm, I feel a little heat coming off the tip right there already. So I'm assuming when the light comes on in the back, it's ready to go. Load it with your glue and you're ready to go. I mean, this is a big gun. I like that it stands up like that because how many times have you been gluing something and you have to lay the glue gun down and then it might drip and you know, I like this whole stand up thing. I like that. And I, like I said, I've never had a glue gun that has these big, big glue sticks in it. Mine's just been a little mini glue gun. I had a mini glue gun here at home and one at school, but this one's kind of interesting. Well, let's see what I can find to glue with this. And then protect your fingers 
or count money with them. We used to have these at the bank. I worked at a bank eight and a half years. And they had these little finger grippers like this. And you put them on your finger and they would, are these different sizes? They are, look at that's a baby one. That's a baby, don't go on my finger. This one's my finger size right here. But this helps you count money and it, cause it grips and it pulls the money. Just a little, just a little tip. And if you wanted to really count money really well, you could put one on two fingers like this and then you just choo -choo 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 -choo, really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little tip if you're going to count a bunch of bills. There you go. Anyhow, that's what I got. And um, I don't have anything to glue right now, but, you know, yeah. I don't even know if it's ready yet. Ooh, I see smoke. I, I smell. I smell stuff, and I see some smoke coming up. I don't know if you guys saw. Ooh, there's smoke coming out right there. Is it supposed to smoke? I mean, I don't know. It's new. Maybe it's like when you start your furnace up at, you know, the first time in the winter or the fall. <laughs> if you're a wimp like me. <laughs> Anyhow, maybe it's just burning off some oils and stuff that are in there. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this. Why not? <laughs> let's load her up and let's glue our bag back together just for fun. <laughs> I'm in a playing around kind of mood today, I guess. All right. My light's not on yet, but anyhow. Come on. How do we how do we load this puppy up here? I don't know. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> not going anywhere. Don't know. Mm -hmm. No clue. Maybe it's not heated up yet. Maybe you gotta wait for the red light. It said something about if you pull the trigger and it gets stuck, um, pulling on the hot glue gun trigger before proper preheating may cause the glue gun to jam. If this occurs, power off the gun immediately, wait for it to cool, then replace a new glue stick. So we have to wait for the red light. All right, I'll play with this later because I don't wanna keep you here waiting and waiting and waiting for the red light. So, it seems like it's been at least two to five minutes though, right? Don't know. It's smoking, it's hot, that's all I got. But the glue's not going into the thing. I, I We're not doing anything. Look, doing nothing. I'm not a glue gun expert, look. Feels warm. It's steamed, it smoked. It smells. Still no red light though. Okay, I'll play with it later. I'll just let you know later how it worked. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> okay, um, I'll talk to you later. Okay, let's finish this up. I've had the glue gun, I've had it plugged in. Now I have a light, see? I have a red light um, and my uh, button is pushed up. That's the less strong one, you're supposed to get a red light. If you push it down, oh, there's the green. The green's just not very bright. It's in there. Okay, there's the green light. So now I have light. Okay, and we're blurry. But now I have, dang it, now I have lights, okay? And we're still blurry. Hang on, come on. All right, there we go. Okay, so the green just doesn't show up very bright. The red does. Okay, so that's the two directions. So. Um, then you have to make sure you have one glue stick that's in the barrel. Oh, that's warm. You can feel heat. You don't want to touch that. And then one that's here, and that pushes the other one through. And look. So basically, my husband played with it for a while. If you have it on the up, like pushed up, it just doesn't get as hot, and the glue comes out slower. If you turn it to the bottom and you probably have to let it heat up another minute or two, it just comes out faster. It has more power and it just comes out faster. But it works, guys, okay? And I'm running out of glue, I would need another glue stick, but I got nothing left to push with, all right? But that's how it works. And it is really nifty that it stands, right? 
it stands up like this. Even my husband liked that. He was like, I have, he has a big powerful uh, glue gun similar to this one, but his doesn't stand like that. So he even thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then the, the larger glue stick in there. So there you have it, you guys, it works, okay? It just took a little minute to play with it a little more. And yeah, husbands, they're great, you know? <laughs> He's good at figuring stuff out. <laughs> Anyhow, there you have it. Thanks for sending it to me, and um, we'll see what projects I might work on uh, that requires a glue gun. You never know, right? You never know. Thanks for watching, you guys. They'll be linked below if you're interested in this, uh, you know, more uh, burly. I'll call it a burly glue gun. I'll link them below. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will talk to you later.